Welcome to Linux Essentials covering your first 100 commands and today we'll demonstrate the cat command. I'm Paul and here's the plan. First the command and why you need it. Second we'll play around in our terminal window and third we'll return for a quick tip and then we're done. Okay we know Linux is the backbone of the internet and is used by trendsetters and producers. At Factorpad we use Linux for fun stuff like organizing data sets. So Linux is great but it requires that you memorize commands just like words in a language. And our tenth word or command to memorize is cat from our category text. Cat allows you to send input to output. In our last video we wanted to see available bash programs and here the cat command will solve that by sending a file as output to the screen. Before we start it helps to think of commands as many programs and most follow this structure command, options, and arguments. The cat command has 12 options and arguments are inputs of two types, files or text input to the keyboard. I'll show you both and in one example we'll use this option to number the output lines. A quick comment about input-output. There are three terms to remember all with default behavior here in our interactive shell. First, standard input is from the keyboard, standard output goes to the screen, and standard error also goes to the screen. So why is cat an important command? Well cat is the easiest way to send text to the screen and now you know how to do that. Oh, a quick word on navigation. This button goes to the playlist, back one video, forward one video, and click here for updates. Okay, the best way to embed this in your memory is by typing in your own terminal window. Find this on your Mac using a program called Terminal. On Linux, use Terminal or Console. And currently Microsoft is adding this functionality to Windows. Here we go. So cat is similar to less from video 5, except less is more like a word processor. Cat instead just prints to the screen. So let's use the file from video 5 and output it with line numbers. Good. Now try this. Type cat and enter. The shell is waiting for you to type something in standard input. Type anything. Enter and it returns anything. Now notice how it just sits there waiting for more. If you're done use Control C to stop the process. And last let's tackle that problem from the last video. Type cat slash etc slash shells and look it outputs a file listing five shells to the screen. Very good. And as always, exit closes the terminal window. Okay, now you know how to use cat and you know the syntax for commands, options, and arguments. One last tip about the cat command. It's easy to write standard output to a file instead of the screen, and I'll show you that next. Okay, thanks for visiting today. I hope this was a fun introduction to the cat command.